Next up, we have our VS Code hint, tip, and trick of the week. And this one I just found yesterday, and it looks pretty amazing. C or SCSS everywhere. Yeah, so this is a CSS class name completion for HTML. So whether you have class, ID completion for HTML, Svelte, Latte, Slim, Liquid, TSS, JS, Hamel. You're making some of these up, aren't you, Gavin? Hamel, <laughs> I think Elixir, must Sparty, be. <laughs> PHP, ERB, JavaScript, CSS, and SCSS. Uh, just declare your class via template and see it everywhere, both directions. Yep, no, it's pretty cool. I mean, there's a lot of great features in there. Autos completion for CSS class definitions that are found in your workplace. So defining your CSS files or, um, you know, basically file types listed in your supported language mode section. You can also link out to external. So if you're using a, a framework or whatever, you can actually just link to the CDN for those, which is pretty neat. So if you're using Tailwind or like even Quasar, you can link straight to their, uh, their file there. Um, the command can manually recache class definitions when you change them, uh, which is cool that it caches it. That's why it's so fast. And your user settings can override which folders and files should be considered or excluded from the caching process. So you're not, you know, looking up things from an old bootstrap that you're not using anymore or something like that. Yep. And then they also offer incremental builds. So you do not need to recache every time. Um, there's additional Slim, Hamel, Smarty, EEX, and Svelte template support. As I mentioned before, both way SCSS support. <laughs> And that's hard to say. Skis support. Separate class and ID support work in progress. Automatically parse, parse all remote sheets from HTML, Svelte, Twig, Slim, and ERB files. And then HTML, CSS, SSS, <laughs> CSS, Elixir, PHP, View, Slim, Hamel, Latte, and many more. I, Gavin, are you like doing this just to mess with me? No, but like, I thought that's a really good idea. I should start doing that now. <laughs> start giving you all the acronyms. <laughs> like all the word salad to like, yeah. oh my gosh. And but, then slip in something that's made up, just see if I'm, I catch it. Yeah. Um, the, the awesome features that I saw looking at this though, you could find usages. So if you type in a class in another file, it'll tell you which files in your project are using that class, which is pretty neat. Uh, and then obviously like the linking to external files is pretty cool and the caching works really slick. So I like that. And then Daniel just posted a link to a YouTube video. So that's Luke Debold from Quasar showing you how to set it up, um, set up that to work with one of the Quasar things. And he shows you how to do an external CSS file, but he also shows you how to like basically copy the contents of a CSS file into a folder in your in your app that you don't actually, you know, build, but you can still put all the styles in there so it can use them and link them. And that can be pretty neat too. Uh, yeah, really cool, um, really helpful. And I think I'm gonna have to do it because like the Tailwind stuff, I gotta remember like, oh, wait, what's that one again? Uh, I'll jump in between different frameworks. Like, you know, if you're in foundation in one project and Bootstrap in another and Quasar in another and Tailwind in another, uh, completion sounds pretty good. So definitely go check that one out. I don't know how you keep up with like all the front end frameworks, Kevin. I don't. That's why I need completion. <laughs> <laughs> I just type margin and they'll tell me which one's the margin is for that. Anyway. Good point. <laughs> that was our VS Code hint, tip, and trick of the week. Brought to you by Modernizer Die Podcast, CFML News Edition, proudly sponsored by Order Solutions. You can see the new episodes every week on CFMLnews.modernizerdie.io or on the Order Solutions YouTube channel.